I'm going to do random pulls for Japanese Mahjong, also known as Richi. If you are new to Richi, look for information in the video description below so that you can learn the fundamentals. There's a link to a wonderful tutorial by Hana Yuri Uta. It's a bit lengthy, but it is worth the watch. There's also links to a primer and a book that I highly recommend. One is by Dinah Chiba and the other is by Scott Miller. Check those out if you're serious about learning how to play Japanese Mahjong, also known as Richi. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do six random pulls. These are kind of like a what would you do scenario. We're going to alternate between east and south round. I'm going to roll these dice to randomize which seat we're in because those variables can affect decision making. For the first random pull, one bam is Dora. We'll be in west seat since I rolled a seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. West seat. I'll get 13 tiles. We have four dots, five cracks, one bam, honors, including a pair, west. And that, incidentally, is our seat. If we pwn that, that's called yakuhai, and that is a yaku. We could get score for that, one han. We have a pair here and here. What would you focus on, and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I think what I would do is focus on half flush, but I would also keep these sixes to see if we pair up. Because if we don't draw cracks and instead pair up, we could do all pwn. Because we have one, two, three pair. One guideline I've been told is to have four pairs from the onset for all pwn. All pwn is called toy toy and it is a two han yaku. So we're short a pair. But I would give myself a couple picks to pair up if I'm going to go with toy toy. But within those picks we could also draw cracks and play half flush. We have a potential pwn, potential chi. This is isolated. And of course we have a potential pwn here. So I would probably discard these. The other thing I was thinking is we do have an eight, a six, seven, eight, and an eight. But these two are really light for mixed triple chi. I think we're much better off to play either half flesh or all pwn. Mixed triple chi is called Sanshoku. And it's only one Han. If concealed, two Han. I think I would rather do Honitsu, half flush. Hon Honitsu is half flush or all pwn, which is called Toy Toy. And I would do everything I could to pwn that west. South round. The progression for dragons is red, white, and green. So green dragon is Dora. I rolled a 12. That would be player four, north. South round, north seat, green dragon is Dora.
four cracks, four dots, three bams, single honors. No pairs. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I would play Pinfu and Ricci. Discard those. We have a potential chi here, 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 and here. One, two, three, four blocks. I would discard those. Here we have a closed weight, edge weight, side weight, side weight. For Pinfu, which is all three in a sequence, all chis, you have to have a side weight, and we have two. Side weight is when you need to complete it with a tile on either side. This is an edge weight because we need the three. This is a closed weight because we need the five. I would play Pinfu and Ricci here. East round, third pull. I rolled a 10. Eight, nine, 10 would be south. Five crack is Dora. Three bams with a pair. Three cracks with a pair. We have six dots with a pair. Single honor, east. It's east round. We're in south seat. Five crack is Dora. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would you discard? If these were my tiles, I would be thinking about three different Yaku here, really four even. We have three pair, so maybe we could do Toy Toy. We're short a pair though. It's best to have four, I've been told. We have one, two, three pair. That's one option. Another option is to play Tanyao. Maybe even all pwn with Tanyao. Toy Toy and Tanyao. Throw away the terminals and the east. Another potential I see here is pure straight. One through nine in one suit. We are light with the four, five, six, but we can chi here with a one, two, three, and chi here with a seven, eight, nine. All we need here is a four dot or a six dot, and we could try a pure straight. So I think what I would do is start by discarding east. Then I think I would discard the nine crack. See what comes in. If we pair up, go for toy toy and all simples. If we draw a four or six, maybe consider pure straight. Pure straight is called Itsu. Pure straight and then we could pwn. We really didn't use this. That might be a good discard too. But I would hold it because if we go for Tanyao, this I think would be my second discard. So probably discard here, then here, see what comes in. If a pure straight potential comes in, keep the nine. If simples come in, ditch the nine and go for all simples and pwn and chi like the wind. Fourth pull, south round. Five dot will be Dora. We will be in south seat.
single dot, three cracks, four bams, honors, including a pair. We are in south seat and it is south round. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would you discard? If these were my tiles, I would play half flesh. Four discards to clear, two bams and honors. The challenge is these singles. Here we could chi, chi, and pwn. We would need to pair up or draw in more bams. Draw in bams preferably. Number tiles are more flexible. But these are valued honors. South seat, south round, dragon. If we pair up and pwn, we could get yaku for that. I would discard these. Fifth pull, east round. I rolled a five, so we're going to be east. One crack is Dora. Three dots, two cracks, six bams, single honors. If these were your tiles, oh, Dora, we have Dora. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I think I would play Chanta. Chant is where you have a one or a nine or wins and dragons in every block. We have a potential chi, potential chi, potential chi, potential chi. We even have potential mixed triple chi with one, two, three. I think one, two, three, four. We could even maybe get a pair here and get rid of the honors. I was also thinking that we do have a potential for a pure straight if we can get a five or a six bam, because we could one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine for a pure straight. But this is a little light with outside hand or Terminals in all. Discard these first. Ones and nines in each block. That's called Junchan. Maybe that would even be better than keeping these honors for Chanta. So I think we could even fall back to Pinfu if we have to, because we do have Chi potential, even with the other two and the four. So I think I would discard these first. All the ideas that we talked about in here used Dora. Maybe Junchan, I think, is what I would play. Or Junchan with mixed triple chi, if we can do it. We're ready to chi. South round, last pull. We are going to be south seat. Nine bam is Dora. Nine bam is Dora. We have two dots, two bams, 
six cracks we have honors with a pair it is south round and we are in south seat if these were your tiles what would you focus on and what would you discard if these were my tiles I would be tempted to play a half flesh discard these Pwn here, even though that would give me no value. We could chi here, chi here. The challenge is these are isolated, but really big cracks can help us with those. We would have one, two, three blocks, but there is also potential for pinfu and richi using these. Potential chi, potential chi, potential chi potential chi discards pair discard one two three four five blocks it's not as pretty but it'll score pinfu and richi side weight side weight we've got our pair you have to have a valued non-value pair since we're in south seat and it's south round this is of no value so we have lots of potential with these cheese. I think I would play Pinfu and Ricci. Discard the green dragon first. See what the drawing brings. We're closest to Pinfu and Ricci though. Even though I'd have to give up on my favorite Yaku, Half Flesh. We're much further from that. Do you have a favorite Yaku? Mine is Honitsu, half flesh. I think it's very flexible and it's pretty. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random pulls for Japanese Mahjong, also known as Richie, may all your picks be keepers.